So guys, as I said a few videos back, I was going to be making scotch eggs soon, but this is what you will need. I'm following the recipe from lovefoodies.com and lots of information about how to do them and how best to cook them and stuff. This is what we're hoping for. And for the ingredients before we get into the cooking, if I scroll down to here, you will need eight eggs. Um, 450 grams of plain sausage meat. I couldn't find sausage meat and I was really desperate to make them so I've just got sausages and I'm just going to take the skin off and I've got 454 grams. You then need two tablespoons of chopped mixed herbs. I've just got the dried version. You will then need one tablespoon of English mustard, um, a splash of milk, 50 grams of flour and breadcrumbs. I've just got these ones here for Morrison's. So the first thing is to put six of the eggs into a pan, cover with cold water and bring to the boil. So I'm just going to do that now. it's just the curse of every time I cook I always drop something or if you watched my video a few weeks ago I was filming um, doing the blinds like pulling lifting the blinds up and I ripped the whole thing off the wall Bella can you go out? out 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 I was just putting the glass back on the draining board and I hit it on this plate and the glass cracked and has gone absolutely everywhere so that was fun. Luckily I don't think any of it went on the floor and I didn't get cut. So one glass down but we're going to carry on. So I'm just going to put this on low as it said and let it do its thing. So I've now turned the dial all the way down and just letting it simmer for a few minutes. Once it's finished, I'm going to put it into a bowl of cold water. But I'm just going to start to prepare my sausage meat. So I'm going to take the skins off the sausages and add to them the herbs and the mustard. sidetracked because I'm also trying to film this for Instagram and TikTok as well but I've just added in the um, one tablespoon of mustard and the two tablespoons of the um, mixed herbs I'm just mixing it with a spoon because it's really really sticky on your hands I'll probably have to use my hands in a minute to get stuck in but I'm just mixing as best as I can it took me quite a while to try and get the skin off um, so if you can buy sausage meat already like de-skinned then I would do that in the future and then I just have my eggs here that have got cold water in them I'm just going to start to peel them now as well She takes me ages to peel eggs. I saw a hack on TikTok where this girl used um, sellotape. I'm just going to try it. I've got some sellotape. 
So what you do is you get your egg, and then I'm just going to dry it off. I'm intrigued to see if this will work. And then you get your sellotape, and you wrap it around the egg. So you wrap the, the sellotape around the egg, leaving a little tab, and then you smash the egg how I just did on a table. And then apparently you just find the end that you just had, and then it should peel. Oh, maybe I didn't hit it hard enough. Okay, take two. Why isn't it working? Um, it's working a little bit. Maybe I need to use stickier tape. It worked a little bit, but it's still kind of half covered. It's made it a tiny bit easier, but I'll just stick to peeling like normal. Um, the next step to do now, I just need another bowl is to beat the two raw eggs together in a bowl with a splash of milk. Okay, so the next thing it says to do once you've got your flour, let me just get another bowl for the breadcrumbs. It says that you can also make your own breadcrumbs as well, but I've just got these ones from Morrison's, so I'm going to pop those in there. So we've got the flour, breadcrumbs, we've got the eggs, we've got the um, egg and the milk, and then we've got the um, sausage paste. It says to put a, put a square of cling film on the work surface and flour lightly. Put one of the meatballs in the centre and flour, so like that. And then it says to flour the top, then roll it out, and then dip the egg in the flour, encase the egg in the sausage meat, and then roll it into a ball. But I'm going to try without all the faffing and all the rolling. I'm also going to put mine in the air fryer, so I'm going to see how this goes without doing all the rolling in the cling film. So the first thing I'm going to want to do... I've also wiped, washed my hands and wiped my phone screen, by the way, because I'm going to be touching it. So I need to get my egg and add in the flour. Okay. And then you want to get your sausage paste. One dollop. The lighting's really bright because the sun's glaring in, so I apologise about that. I need some flour on my hands so it doesn't stick. <laughs> Maybe this is why they said to use cling film. Oh, it's all breaking. This is really hard. Oh no, <laughs> it's not working. Okay, I think I'm going to have to do what the instructions say. Okay, we'll start again. Okay, so I've rolled it between the cling film. I'm just about to try and roll it for the first time. This is working a lot better than the first time. Okay, <gasps> it's working. And then... Dip each egg in flour, then egg, then breadcrumbs. Finding it hard to stick though. Oh, it's sticking to my hand. Who knew sausage meat was so... Look. Oh. Why is it doing that? It's hard to get it all to, like, meet and stay closed okay then in the flour in the egg and then 
in the breadcrumb. There's my first one. I'm going to pop this on the plate before it goes in the air fryer. I did not know that this was so much hassle. Probably never going to make these again. <laughs> I've probably been making these now for coming up over an hour and I've only made one. I think if I hadn't smashed the glass then I wouldn't have had to have cleaned it all up but this is a ball lake for a bit of scotch egg. I'm going to flour my hands because I think that's where I keep going wrong because I keep washing my hands in between and my hands keep getting really like I don't know the sausage meat keeps sticking to them. just about to cook these scotch eggs it says that you can put them in the air fryer so I'm just gonna put them in for about 20 minutes and see how they get on this is what they look like and then I'm just gonna put the in put them in the air fryer now so the scotch eggs are out the air fryer I'm just gonna grab a knife and cut and have a look on the inside it started to come apart on a few of them and um, that's obviously just where I didn't like put the um, sausage batter too well but oh my god look it actually looks like a scotch egg i'm really really happy with that i wouldn't do it again because it took me so long um but i'll give it a try and i will let you know how it tastes but very very happy with that <laughs> 